Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday was Madaraka Day, and uh, Chief Justice Mother Kome appeared in that celebration in her new car, and that became a discussion. But one man, Senior Counsel Ahmed Nasser, launched an attack several attacks on CJ Mother Kome. But again, if you look deeper into what he's trying to say in comparison to the expensive vehicle and the lives of police officers and the people in this country, the children, the poor, you would see in direct message being directed to William Ruto and his government. So first of all, let us go to his treaty. This is what he's saying. Tell me why a CJ of poor third world country where millions of kids sleep at night without food with 1.5 million cases uh, backlog where it make 10 to 15 years to hear a case and 6 to 12 months to deliver judgment will spend uh, 500,000 USD to buy her fourth official car. CJ has two Mercedes Benz, two uh, Prado, and a Land Cruiser, and a three to four escort cars. Madness. Your Gary Kwapo, Gary Abey Kuba, on a pile of plate with CJ. One. He did not stop there. He continued with another one. The attacks continued. Eh? Now he's making a, a comparison between the life of CJ and the lives of uh, police officers. This is what he's saying. This is Kenya for you. Madam CJ is driving in this amazing state of the art car. Her police driver stock bodyguard lives with his wife and children in this teen house. Who will speak for the poor in Kenya? Now, see, uh, Senior Council has a message. This message, yes, is for Mother Kome, but you would see where the message is supposed to be directed. Before we go deep into that, yes, a quick request for those who are watching and you are, you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And to our channel subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all of you, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. First of all, what Amenazel is saying about hunger, backlog of cases, it is true. The issue of driving a new expensive car is also a question many Kenyans are asking. And this issue is not, is not only on CJ mother calling. It is also right to State House. This message was for State House. This message was for regarding the Shangwa, Msalia Mdavadi, National Assembly, Senate, and the Governors. One question you would ask, who is sitting where the budget is being prepared? CJ Mother Kome is not sitting in that table. She just wait to get her share. The people who are sitting there is one William Saviruto, giving instruction and taking advice from the finance minister. They have prepared a bill. In that bill, where is the share of police officers? If you want to bring that comparison of the teen house to the car that CJ is driving. Who is preparing the bill? In a Tayarisha Kulekwa cabinet meeting. And after a Kuja National Assembly, they have a say about it. They can propose amendment to that bill. Or reject it if it's wrong. So, Ruto, dio mwenye hiyo bill, hiyo bill ni ya William Samway, Ruto. The question is, where is the share of the people uh, Grand Mola is referring to the poor, hungry Kenyans? Where is the share for police officers? This takes me to the task force that was formed by one William Samway Ruto and the 
he handed over it to the former CJ Maraga, our hero of 2017. Maraga went across looking on the situation of police officers. Tuliona zile nyumba mbaya mbaya, nyumba za mikepe, nyumba za matope, wameja wengi, and the report was made. The question is, you report ipelekwa kwa mother Kome ame ipelekwa kwa William Samuel Ruto. Ahmed Nasser had a message for William Ruto, but he feared attacking Ruto directly on Madaraka Day. Hiyo ndio kweli. Akaamua aende the weak one. Na weak one na Martha Kome. Who cannot necessarily come out to defend herself. Kome is wrong, Ruto is wrong. How what what was wrong what? But again the person who has the key to solve all this problem is not Kome. Ni Ruto. Ndiyo kama nasimamisha mambo mawili matatu hapa na pale. But again they are on the same table. How watu wote wanaohusika kufinya wa Kenya. Kama anatupea Ruto. Sasa Ruto anashumbua wa Kenya. For example that bill that is coming with impunity, Kome and his judges have a chance to stop it. Housing and all those other things. So the truth is that you would see people giving themselves big budgets, driving expensive cars. There is a nation Nagashangwa, Mdavadi, William Ruto. They are expensive cars. You look at their budgets, they are huge, just like that one of Mother Kome. So as we talk about Mother Kome, we also talk about William Ruto. So the truth is that Ruto is having a huge budget when police officers are still sleeping in teen houses. Just like what Mother Kome is driving. So before you talk about Mother Kome bodyguard, talk about that bodyguard to William Ruto, that bodyguard attached to Musalem Dabadi, that bodyguard attached to Rigati Kashabwa. Yes. Mother Kome does not decide on police officers. It will be William Ruto. I mean, we are talking about Kithura Kindiki, who is the CS for interior. Police officers, wako hapi. Hii ni natambia na police officers. Sio Mother Kome. Mother Kome has been just assigned. Anytime they can withdraw. Pina wanafanyaka kawaida yao. Wakio kwa hiyo siasa zao. So the person who has powers, more powers, yuko huku kwa watu, wa William Samayi Ruto. So, we are seeing a man who is worried to attack William Ruto directly, but just looking for a soft side. So indeed, we have huge problem. But that person who is bringing this problem is none other than Ahmed Nasir's friend, William Samway Ruto. I was, been, I was also checking on the comment section, and the people were like, ah, ah. We see you have a message here. But again, we are seeing you are trying to attack Mother Kome here. You are trying to personalize it. So it's becoming personal attack. It means there is a beef between him and Mother Kome. There's a message in what we are trying to say here, but that message is directly for William Samuel Ruto. Ni Ruto, see a Mother Kome. Ukega kusu kujenga kujenga koti a politiki ukiongea kuhusu kuajiri eh, mwa judges mwa magistrates that is stick is a person nafasi tumike huko zijenga koti huko chini waleta mwa magistrate hapo waika upande kazi ziendelee lakini ukiongea kuhusu the situation of police officers hiyo sio ya mother come hapana ni ya ruto ni ya gashagwa ni ya kidhira kindiki Ruto akona report. And again, Mother Kome is just an example. Angalia ile gari nendesho na Ruto, ile inagashagwa nendea na Dani. Yenye sena tamasika wetangula, the National Assembly Speaker, ana drive. Ile yenye Amazon kingi anaendesha. Enda wangalizo magari zote. Then you talk about this issue. So we will ask, kwa nini Grand Mola is attacking women. Ameajana na wanaume kudiri na uko marafiki wake wa karibu. Kwanini? It looks so much awkward. I'm not defending Mother Kome. Mother Kome is wrong, just like William Ruto, just like Gashagwa, just like National Assembly. Sasa yeye, inafaa yeke, is attack zaki. 
if really he mean good and you want a change here, you should be attacking William Ruto because Ruto is sitting on the table where they decide on Monday. At hand wana decide matha kwa matapata pesa ngapi. Waki ama kumfinya watamfinya tu, awezi pata yo budget. He should be directing his insult and attack to mwana zimasika wetango na and the National Assembly. Uko nda wana decide kama hizo bill is tapita or they can have some amendment. Mother Kome has need to say to do with the appropriation of this money in terms of passing the bill. I'm going to very little say. So the message is well and good at home, but to William Samway, Ruto. Ruto is a failure because the man who is focusing on himself is more of himself, his own interest rather than the people's interest. Sasa hawa marafiki zake wanagopa kumambia ukweli directly. He said, "Not right after the soft spot uh, to start attacking." I don't know your views, but that's my thinking on this post. Thank you, and see you in our next video. But let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation.